Hi, I'm Matthew Wingler with SMU Guildhall's Cohort 17. Today we're going to be introducing Unreal Script. This is our first video that will cover primarily setting up Unreal Script, but our later videos will provide further examples of actual scripting. We're currently using the December 2011 build of UDK, and today's date is January 23rd, 2012. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to have downloaded the latest version of UDK, Infringe, Microsoft Visual Studios 2010, and Microsoft Visual Studios Shell. Alright, let's get started. After we've downloaded all these programs, the first thing we're going to need to do is activate our license for Infringe. This will give us some, use some useful tools such as IntelliSense and keyword highlighting. So here in Microsoft Visual Studios, we're going to go to Help. We're going to scroll down to Infringe License Manager. Click on that. Once this is open, we're going to click Add. And we're going to click I am using Infringe for a non-commercial project. When you, next thing we need to do is input our studio, the name of our studio, and our project. And for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use Guildhall for both. All right, now we're going to need to provide a valid email, and Infringe will send us an email that will open and follow the steps to activate. So do that, and once you once you do that, click activate. Go go to your email and follow the steps. We're going to assume we've done that, and we're going to go ahead and close out of that. And now, once you've done that, the status here will change from inactive to active. So, once that is done, we're going to close out of this, because that's all good. And uh, now we're going to now we're going to create a new Unreal project. So we're going to go to File, New, Project. And now, because of uh, Infringe, we have a new uh, option here for Unreal Script. We're going to select Unreal Engine Three License Project and go down here to name. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's just type in, uh, let's just give it the name Unreal Tutorial Project. And here we're going to need to find our source uh, folder. So go to, so go to uh, UDK, UDK, Development, source, actually, just source, and select the folder. Alright, now, if this is checked, if create directory for solution is checked, unclick that, and hit OK. Alright, now this has built us a new project. But now we're going to need to change some default properties in this project before we get started. So right click over in the Solution Explorer, scroll down to Properties. All right, now in the General tab and Target Game, we're going to select Unreal Engine 3 Mod. And in the UCC path, we are going to click on this. We're going to go to UDK, UDK, binaries, win32, and we're going to scroll down until we find UDK.exe. And we're going to click on that. All right. Now then in the reference source path, we're going to have to find our source folder again. So open that up again. UDK, UDK, development, source, and select the folder. Okay, now we're going to go over here. Oh, we're going to close out of that. We're going to go over here to build, the build tab. And then here, we're going to click on include unpublished scripts and build. And up in configuration, we're going to click all configurations. So, there you go. All right, now we're going to go down to debug. 
And in debug, we need to find the uh, the uh, udkxe.exe file again. So we're going to go to udk, udk, binaries, win32. Scroll down until you find udk.exe. All right. We're going to disable startup movies, enable unpublished mods, force windowed mode, open log window at position 00, zero. and then if we scroll down under additional options, type in minus log, and we're all done here for the moment. So now we're going to Let's see. Now we need to uh, make some slight changes to the .ini file. So outside of outside of Visual Studios, we're going to open up our UDK file again. Go UDK, UDK, UDK game, config, and we're going to scroll down until we find UDK engine.ini and open that up. Alright, once this is open, click Control F to search and we're going to look for Unreal ED. Let's find next, find next, until we find, let's see, yes, until we find Unreal ED dot editor engine. So once we found this, we're going to scroll down to the end of this, and we're going to type in, well, what I've already typed in here, is mod edit packages equals Unreal tutorial project. Or, in other words, the name of the project we want Unreal to to recognize that it needs to compile. And for us, in this case, it's Unreal Tutorial Project. So once you've done that, save it out, close it, close out of this. Now we're going to need to open up a new Unreal script file. So go to, back in Visual Studios, go to File, New, File, Text File, all right, now in here we're going to type class, and we're going to call this deathmatch underscore super region, Ex then type extends ut deathmatch semicolon. Now we're going to save this out so go to file save text file as now open up UDK UDK development source and scroll down until you find Unreal Tutorial Project open that up now we're going to need to create a new folder so go to click on right click go to new folder going to need to name this classes. Open this up. Now we need to save this out. And it's important that we save this uh, this text file as uh, as the same name of the class we just made. So type in deathmatch underscore super region dot uc and save it out. And now we can see that IntelliSense is already working for us. We got some nice highlighting here. It's all working great. So let's save this project out. And save all. And we're going to close out of it. And yes. All right. Now let's open up Microsoft Visual Studios 2010 again. And we're going to open up our project. So go to File, Open Project Solution, 
We're going to go to UDK again. UDK, development, source. We're going to scroll down to Unreal Tutorial Project. And we're going to open up our project file, Unreal Tutorial Project.sln. Open this up. Now we can see we got some nice parsing going on here. Everything's working just great. All right. So we're going to save this one more time. And we'll go ahead and end the tutorial here. And we'll begin the next tutorial by building a basic Unreal script. All right. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.